For too many years, Sidney Poitier has been the token black star of an all-white film industry. Today at 48, the Miami-born actor is the senior artist of a growing black film industry. And after 46 films, actor Poitier is moving into a new career as a director. His third film's Let's Do It Again, a broad comedy like his Uptown Saturday Night, in which he also co-starred with Bill Cosby. I recently talked with Poitier in New York, where his new film premiered. It's not a sequel, he insisted, and agreed with me that within the comic framework, his picture also says something. Yes, I had an awful lot I wanted to say. Could you share that with um, me? Yeah, surely. I wanted to say that, um, I wanted to say that black people uh, can and should uh, laugh at themselves a lot more, and it would be marvelous if they were to invite other people to join them in laughing at themselves in healthy, humorous, wonderful, human ways. Uh -huh. uh, so I try to find material that would lend itself to that. You know, I try to find material that would lend itself to the dignity of human life and at the same time uh, be a bit irreverent about the whole thing and, and have some laughs and have some fun. You know, we have been uh, an unlaughing people in public for a long time, uh, for reasons, if one wanted to want to search for reasons, obviously there are many reasons why, but I think it's time we do some laughing in public at ourselves and about ourselves. I notice there's no put down of the white man in this picture. No, 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 no. There, no you no. stay away from that entirely. I stay away from that entirely, entirely. We have had uh, a good deal of that. And, um, you know, put-downs are not a part of my thing. It just simply is not. And the films I make may, may be woven out of the fabric of my culture. It may be woven out of my, the ethnicness of my life. But the comment inherent in my film has to be universal. I speak to all people. And in these films I've done with Bill Cosby, they are comedies that can be recognized and enjoyed by all people. I know there's a black market for films. So to speak. <laughs> so to speak, so to speak. Uh, I have a feeling, tell me if I'm right, that you're not really aiming this at a specific market, that you want gen a general mass audience. I, I do. I want the entire black audience and the entire white audience, and I also want the yellow audience. And I am seducing the brown audience, and I'm reserving a marvelous little niche for the Eskimos. <laughs> In other words. How do you hope that each of these uh, races can relate to the picture? Because there is that about all of us that, is, that binds us. We respond to certain uh, human questions the same way everywhere, you know. We respond to loneliness pretty much on a classically universal basis. Mm -hmm. We respond uh, to, to the fears and insecurities of a modern civilization pretty much. We're all, our neuroses don't come in a thousand different colors. We are all subject to pretty much the same patterns of neuroses. Um, when we love, it does pretty much the same wonderful things for us. When we hate, it does pretty much the same negative things to us. Uh, so, as I make my comment, you see, I use these strains that are communal to us all, wherever. As John Donne said, never send to know for whom the bell tolls. Precisely. It tolls for thee. Indeed. This is a departure for you. You seem to be heading in a new direction as a director. Is that deliberate or accidental? How did it's, that come um, about? Well, it's kind of deliberate, you know. I mean, I've been an actor for almost 30 years, right? Boy, that dates me. <laughs> and um, there isn't much left for me to do as an actor. The literature available in the world mm. is so finite. I can't find too many parts that are going to challenge me, you know. So I keep repeating myself. I keep doing parts that I can do fairly easily, parts that uh, are not going to stretch me one iota. And I don't want to spend my life doing that. I could do that for the next 17 years, and I'll say I spent my life playing parts that were easy. No. I would like to have challenges, artistic challenges. And I can find them 
not in acting anymore, but certainly in directing and certainly in producing and certainly into, in bringing on the, onto the screen interesting new views of life. A filmmaker is able to show to the world how he sees it, the world. You follow? Yes, I do. An actor cannot do that. An actor interprets, the filmmaker creates. You're also acting, however, in your films. Will you continue that? Yes, uh, I will, because um, it's essential that I eat and uh, pay the bills and stuff and stuff. And until I, I, I'm able to do that with directing and stuff, I'll have to keep acting a what little. What do you see the future of uh, black films, if we have to separate them? Uh, it's a considerable future. It depends largely on the black filmmakers or the people who are involved in making films for the black market. Um, it has an enormous future. One prerequisite is that it stops being uh, so self-defeating in that it, um, it's so unimaginative in its, in its prejudices, its, uh, its uh, hostilities. You know. It's important that um, those films reach out to everyone, speak to everyone. It's important that uh, the black filmmaker and the people involved in making these films start putting more love and more care and more humanity into the pictures and, and, and to dimensionalize the characters, the white ones and the black ones, uh, stuff like that.